Auditor General will table her report on McKinsey. Now, the Liberals will try to hide their preferential treatment of McKinsey, but the procurement watchdog already said that this government creates criteria specifically designed for McKinsey. Mm -hmm. The Minister of Procurement also signed a $5.7 million sole source contract, despite her officials asking her not to for McKinsey. Wow. At a time where Canadians can't even take a summer vacation, why is this government so hell-bent on giving $116 million to McKinsey? Good the Honourable Minister for Les Travaux Publics à Prouve de Nord Canada. Merci, M. le Président. Très enchanté de... Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I look forward to answering this question. My colleague knows full well that the Auditor General's work is very important, but also very appreciated by the Canadian government. We look forward to hearing their report tomorrow. We know that their report will continue to help us so we can go even further in the important work that we must all do to make sure that public services are delivered in a good and opportune way. And for the dental care system, that is working very well, especially in Quebec. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Corruption, abuse, resignations, multiple investigations, and at least 150 million tax dollars illegally given out by Liberal insiders to other Liberal insiders and to themselves. That's Sustainable Development Technologies Canada after nine years of this NDP Liberal government and that Prime Minister that's just not worth the cost. The Auditor General is set to release a damning report on SDTC tomorrow. So will the Prime Minister shut down the billion dollar slush fund? Will he commit to get Canadians their money back? And will he guarantee Canadians that none of these corrupt executives will get a dollar of severance? Not a dollar. The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my colleague for his question. In fact, as you well know, Mr. Speaker, from the moment we receive a legation, we started an investigation, Mr. Speaker, in order to make sure that we would uncover the truth and we would restore governance. We suspended funding of the organization. We now got a report. The chairwoman resigned. The CEO of the organization resigned, Mr. Speaker. We welcome the findings of the Auditor General. We proactively work with the Auditor General. And one thing I can we assure all Canadians we will restore governance, restore funding for this organization that is helping thousands of Canadians' company in this country. 